there, 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 there are a number of issues that borders on the system of governance we took and, and clearly also borders on the purpose of that system of governance. Mm. Well, you see, we say, and when we went to law school, it was one fundamental principle they taught us, that justice must not only be done. It must manifestly be seen to be done. So, and, and now, that, uh, that means, what that means is that <clears throat> if my brother Edwidi brings an action to the court mm. and you apply speed X, mm -hmm. then when I bring my action to court, you must, and, and everything, also you must apply speed X. Now, how can you justify a reason that says that you, some people will be left without representation? When we have a situation in Ghana, a situation which all of us should be ashamed of. Which is? The South issue. That for a whole four years, some of our compatriots are without representation. You, 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 you understand? So, listen, we are faced, we are bedeviled with a needless constitutional crisis. You think it's needless? Uh, very, very, Could very, have been avoided. Very, very needless. Especially when and Andy, my big brother Andy, also my mate in law school, we were, we were called in the same year. And, and the appeal could be, yeah, he's, he, he, he was my mate at the at law school. We were called the same year. Now, where Andy made reference to precedence, because also you need to understand that the, the, the legal tradition we are under is also one which is premised on the principle of precedence. Yeah, you understand? It may not be written, but it's something that certainly has to be considered when you are making decisions. Yeah, you understand? So you have, you have a situation where we do not have a clear laid down procedure for how where issues of Article 97 happens, how it should be handled. I'm, 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 I'm coming. How, but however, we have a matter of precedence. Okay. In my view, mm. In my view, mm -hmm. I think this mat the, the matter was pretty simple, mm -hmm. as in straight, mm -hmm. st st straightforward. You think it was a straightforward matter? straightforward matter. matter. Yeah, 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 you understand? Be that as, as me, questions have arisen. Okay. Now, I think that if we had applied, been consistent with basic principles of law, like I'm talking about one, the state of ex ex execution, mm -hmm. you understand? Does the Supreme Court have the power to stay execution of an action by parliament. You know, it's a question that needs... That's the does, crux of the matter. Does the Supreme Court have the power to stay an order, an order legally made? Because the question is, did the Speaker have the power to make those orders? That's the first issue. Did the Speaker have the powers to make those orders? And the orders that he made were deconstitutional. 